Once slides have been stained, they should be identified and enumerated using microscopy. Enumeration should be carried out by scanning the entire well area using either a horizontal or vertical pattern. The scanned area should also extend at least half a field of view outside of the well area. Objects outside of the well area cannot be counted, as it's not possible to confirm using DIC. During this step, the location of presumptive target organisms should be noted using the vernier scale. Once the end of a scanning plane is reached, the field of view will need to be moved. To do this, focus on an object at the extreme of the field of view and move the slide carefully until the object is at the opposite extreme. Cryptosporidian oocysts and Jardia cysts should be initially identified using FITC. Analysis for characteristic FITC staining of Cryptosporidium oocysts and Jardia cysts should be performed at at least 200 times magnification. Bright apple green fluorescence, halo effect, size and shape should be noted. In addition to FITC staining, Cryptosporidium oocysts and Jardia cysts should be identified by characteristic DAPI staining. DAPI analysis should be performed at at least 400 times magnification, and the number of distinct bright sky blue nuclei should be noted. Once primary analysis is complete, Analysts should proceed to confirmation using DIC microscopy. Analysis for characteristic internal structures performed using DIC microscopy should be performed at at least a thousand times magnification. Sporozoites associated with cryptosporidium oocysts should be recorded. For Jardia cysts, the presence of a cell wall, cytoplasm, median bodies, axonemes and nuclei should be noted.